The analysis of this strip is dictated by the clinical context. On initial assessment, looking at this apparently well patient, the reviewing senior doctor is prepared to accept the computer interpretation. Sinus rhythm with a degree of irregularity due to what the computer interprets as premature atrial contractions. However, the reviewing doctor is aware that cardiac problems are a common cause of unexplained collapse. And he asks himself, is there anything subtle on this readout which might be missed? There is. With the benefit of experience, it is the bifid appearance of the T waves which really catches the eye in this clinical context. The doctor has seen this pattern before in patients with AV block, a potential cause of collapse. If we map out the identifiable P waves, we find that these distortions of the T waves occur almost exactly at the halfway point between identifiable P waves. Both the axis and partially imagined morphology of these deflections sits well with the contention that they are non-conducted P waves. This is a case of second degree atrioventricular block. The next task for the reviewing doctor is to identify the type of second degree atrioventricular block which is present. Thinking that every second P wave was failing to conduct, I initially misclassified this case as untypable. However, as P waves appeared to be absent from certain regions, I applied an old trick to find them. Mapping out the P waves with a pen on a piece of paper, when we move this paper along the readout, we find that the T wave of this deflection directly overlies the site of a predicted P wave. Also, we note that the T wave itself is significantly taller than its fellows. A P wave is almost certainly fused with this T wave, increasing the T wave amplitude, and this P wave has not been conducted to the ventricles. This changes our view of the strip. Clearly, in this group, there is progressive PR interval prolongation before a P wave fails to conduct. This is a case of Mobitz type 1, second degree AV block. It is the appearance of the T waves combined with the clinical context which guided the analysis of this ECG. In a different context or without clinical details available, I'm pretty certain that the reviewing doctor would have missed this diagnosis. We hope that you found this case discussion helpful. If you like our videos and content, please check out our online learning platform, akadoodle.com. At akadoodle.com, we develop rich animated video courses which explain complex medical concepts. If you need credits, we are ACCME accredited and our pro subscription offers AMA PRA category one credits. Sign up today.